But we are now less than a week from uh, Cowboys camp getting underway, though. Yeah. And this morning we got a big story. We'd been wondering since last season when Brian said he kind of heard some things that maybe, you know, Zach was considering retirement. And yeah. at that time I was like, wow, that's interesting. He's only 32 years old. Maybe that's a contract angle. Maybe he is seriously talking about contract. But we're at a little bit of a crossroads here for Zach Martin as significantly underpaid, maybe, maybe 30, 40 percent underpaid, something like that. And. And, and the story is, you know, maybe he's considering a, a, a little bit of a holdout or, uh, you know, and, and he'd like a, uh, a raise. I think it's $7 million less than yeah. market value. There's no doubt he deserved it. Uh, he signed uh, his contract a long time ago. And when you do those contracts, um, you do them long, that's because you want the security. And, and then when the guaranteed money is gone or the market goes up, now the security doesn't matter to you, and now the APY matters. Now the average per year matters. And it's a moving target for the teams. It's got to be very annoying if you're the Cowboys. Like, hey, we give you the security. You know, you, what do you want? You want short-term or long-term? You chose long-term, and at the end of that long-term, now you're no longer market value. You're coming back here for more money. I'd be annoyed. Um, but also from the Cowboys' perspective, it's a guy you can't lose. Um now, they have been so tight to the vest uh, with how they play their contracts. It's going to be really interesting. Are they going to stand strong on this one, or are they going to be like, you got a point, man. You're a Hall of Fame right guard. You're 32 years old, smack dab in the middle of your prime, and you're worth a lot more than what your contract is. I don't know how the Cowboys are going to play it, but it makes me nervous as a guy that really wants to see good protection for Dak. Goodness, it's, uh, it's a terrifying thought. We were talking about this before we got on after the Rangers game had ended. I mean, we're talking leverage, right? Like, we've talked about the running backs and Barkley and, and the leverage that maybe they have. Zach Martin's got all the cards here. How screwed are the Cowboys if all of a sudden Zach Martin, one, decided, I am holding out and I'm not playing, or if he decided, you know what, I'm going to go quits and actually retire like yeah. Travis Frederick did? I yeah, you want to talk to me about finding me yeah. if I'm going to miss? Camp? Okay, I'm just done. I mean, we're worried yeah. about left guard. All of a sudden, now you got to fill right guard? Yeah. And you've yeah. lost one of your, if not your best player? It's a great opportunity for Martin to capitalize right now. But I they're kind of, already tied up against it, and they've yeah. got three guys they need to pay. Yeah. It's horrible timing for I, them. I just feel like, though, the only way that Zach Martin can hurt you is retire. Because I don't see Zach Martin getting fined fifty thousand dollars a day for missing camp practice. Would you? Are you? Would you call his bluff then? I I'm gonna I'm gonna hold on this one. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold. Wow, this one. you're gonna you're gonna. I'm gonna play hardball with the I'm Hall gonna, of Famer. I'm just. He's in the '99 Club now in Madden. Did you see today? Gavin made. I Gavin that. made. I think the he point. saw that and was like, "Damn, I need more money." <laughs> I can't negotiate. Yeah, Is this I, right? Uh, yeah, I can't. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I can't, I'm I'm on that. I can't negotiate on that. I mean, I can negotiate on things. But Gavin's right. He went for the long-term deal. He did. He did. He said, hey, you know, and, and you knew this was going to happen. Yeah. You knew that he was, you know. It would have happened with Tyron Smith, well, too. Let's but be honest, he, he too. He kept getting hurt. Yeah, you need Terrence Steele playing next to him. That helps him even more. Yeah. You know, there were some times last year where there was a little slippage. You know, I know everybody's talking about 99 and all this stuff. But it wasn't, wasn't as, as clean. good last it year. It wasn't as no. clean as we've seen him in the past. If I'm the Cowboys, I am betting he is not going to get fined fifty thousand dollars a day, and I'm betting he's not going to miss game checks. Didn't we? Haven't we found out though that the fining system is a big scam? It's, because yes. ultimately, after three weeks or two weeks or two days, it's only a, it's they're only like, "Hey, don't worry about it's those." It's only fines. a scam. It's only a scam if he does a new, new deal and they they wipe it away. Inevitably, that's what's going to happen. I don't. I don't. I don't see that. I really you think don't. he just plays as is right now. I I think this is one of those things where he's saying, "Hey, listen, I know I'm underpaid. I mean, you, you wait till this point in time, you know, getting ready to go to camp." Fine. You think the Cowboys just found this out today? No, I, the Cowboys actually, according to Todd Archer, have talked to him about this contract uh, when they were at the combine in February. Mm -hmm. So you know they couldn't get anything really done there. But he he's the one that negotiated this deal. Is he underpaid? Sure, he is. But that's not the Cowboys' fault. Yeah. You know, they've got other – this is the thing that happens to the Cowboys. They draft really well, and they can't stagger their contracts. You know, that's the problem. They've got Diggs and, and, and Lamb. CD, and then the, you got Micah. And the same – basically, bam, 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 all together like that. And, Zach, I'm sorry, but I'm going to, I'm going to bet that you do not want to get fined $50,000 a day. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to willing to bet that. But I'm also willing to bet that the Cowboys would never actually act on finding him that. No, they, they, it's not it's, their choice, though. It's not. Their, it, it's they. They can do whatever they want. I mean, as long as if he have they changed a rule 
Yes, you, the fines are not rescindable. Yeah. They're no longer yeah. okay. It's right. a, well, like then that you, changes you things miss, for sure. You miss uh, training camp stuff, and it is a number per day, and it's only like fungible or it's only flexible if I don't have a contract. I'm yeah. just legit holding out. Like yeah. Saquon Barkley right now hasn't signed the franchise tag. He can't be fined for missing because he hasn't done a contract with the team. Right. So to me, I, I think this is. I think there's like rattling of the swords right now is what we're seeing. Okay, so after this year, Zach has one more year, and it's thirteen million dollars. It's a nice, you know, payday, and you know, this year his his cash flow is very significant. Um, you know, so if if you would call his bluff and say nope, then essentially he's going to walk after twenty twenty four or retire. You're 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 changing you're the relationship. Hit, I, I it would not surprise me one bit if he went the route of Travis Frederick after after yeah. a season. And he might be ready to do that. Yeah. You know, the, the smart thing for the Cowboys right now would be like, okay, this guy really doesn't want to play that much anymore. He wants more money. He's a declining player. Maybe we should let him go. Like I think Belichick would be having that conversation right now. No, Belichick would have had that conversation in Indy. He's not going to show up to in a season where he's got a chance to do something special, winning, winning. You yeah, know, you're big right time. about that. I mean, yeah, I in, in July, so yeah. bleeped if you do not have Zach Morton. It's it's his choice. There's no recourse. It's his choice. You know, play or retire. Well, and I think ultimately he will play. I also do think in the history of this, and and I hear what you're saying, and I'm leaning towards you're probably going to be right on this though, Brian. But the Cowboys do have a history of caving in these situations. And and they give Zeke what they what he wants. Yeah, but the thing about it is, and Gavin gave him yeah, that's the nick- just one example. Gavin gave him the nickname the Caveman. Yeah, they'll cave. Yeah, Gavin started calling him the Caveman, and, like they, and, and they got mad over there when they heard the Caveman. What? Because <laughs> well, he's, he's, he's the guy I would like to do. Yeah, they got they mad. They got mad. Zach Morton's the guy that deserves that. You make it work for him. Oh, I think so. You know, yeah. they, but, yeah. see, but, I they, think but so. they've always how many times Hall have they how many, how many times have they redone his contract? Well, see, that's the issue. Next year, he's got a cap hit of over twenty three million dollars, and that's because of all of the restructuring yeah. they've done, and that extends even once the deal's over in twenty twenty four. He's got a cap hit of under ten, just under ten million in twenty twenty five, and then another one of just under five million, and that's because they've restructured and pushed the money back into that. How much twenty twenty five, twenty twenty six season? Okay, I don't have it pulled up in front of me right here, but maybe you do. How much guaranteed dollars does he have left? Because I don't think he's got very much uh, guaranteed money. I don't think he has any. Uh, okay, so I mean, could you just could you guarantee him some level of you know of millions for your Hall of Fame I'm- right guard who you desperately need this year? I think you do it. I think you. I, I think you find a way to get this thing done. I don't think this is a. I don't. This doesn't feel like a hardball situation to me. I mean, he's thirty-two years old. It's not like he's thirty-nine, and yeah. you're like, crap. We can't do a. You get. You do a five-year deal right now, and you might get all pro play for a half decade. Again. I know it's mad, yeah. but he's ninety-nine. <laughs> Even if they're ten points off, oh he's still gosh. an A player. Every single <laughs> interior offensive line ranking had him as the best guard. He is. I mean, if you uh, you can say yes, there's been a decline there. I'm not yeah. going to argue that. Yeah. But in terms of guards in the NFL, he's still one or two, depending on oh, who you want to put in the conversation. Player. Fabulous player. I just do feel like that he needs Terrence Steele playing next to him. And I never thought I would say that, but there I go. You know, Terrence Steele and him are a really good combination off that right side. And you'll find out that Terrence Steele probably needs him some Zach Martin as and, well. And there's no question about that. So that's going to be a rude I, awakening. I, You know what? The Cowboys have got a lot of pressing issues. I think they have a lot more pressing issues myself.